imagine you marry someone and you know that spouse is going to go to hell. Han Meditation. Hello guys, I am Han. This is my wife Kelly. This is a question Hello. we've actually been wondering for a long time because we actually have grown up in a community that has a lot of Palestinian people. Kelly's best friend is Palestinian and they are Muslim as well. And so we we know that they always marry Muslim people. So mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a rule. I don't know if this is just a culture. I don't, I'm not sure, but we're here to learn. And I actually do want to learn and figure this out because, you know, if we go ahead and officially convert, these are kind of things that we have to know for our Absolutely. family. So let's just go ahead and watch this and see what he has to say. Uh, my name is Anand. By profession, I'm an interior designer. I want to ask, can a Muslim girl marry a non-Muslim boy? The brother asked the question that can a Muslim girl marry a non-Muslim boy? As I said that a Muslim boy cannot marry a non-Muslim girl until she believes the same verse I quoted, Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 221 says, do not marry a non-believing woman until she believes. A believing woman who's a bond woman is far superior to a non-believing woman even if she allows you. The same verse continues, do not marry a non-believing man, a mushrik man, until he believes. A believing man, even if he's a slave man, a bondsman, is far superior to a mushrik man, an unbelieving man, even if he allows you. He may be the most handsome man in the world, he may be the wealthiest man in the world, but the believing man is far superior than unbelieving man. So even the vice versa is the same, that a Muslim woman cannot marry a non-Muslim man until he believes. Once he accepts Islam, then very well, she can marry him. The same example of a car, that all the four tires should be same, one of a bicycle and the other of a truck, it will not work. Because the life partners, if you really love your wife, you'd want her to go to Jannah. If the Muslim woman loves the husband, she would want the husband to go to Jannah. This life is temporary. So imagine you marry someone and you know that spouse is going to go to hell. So what's the use? So first you get confirmation that he becomes a Muslim. He agrees there's one God and the final messenger is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then there are chances that both will have the best of this world and the hereafter. Hope that answers the question. Wow, dude, those crowds he gets are that's fantastic. That's the power of Allah. Unbelievable. That's crazy. That's really good. And yeah, that's interesting because, you know, Kelly and I were talking to, we we're always talking about family talks and we're getting to that point. We're going to start a family and all that. But <laughs> also one of my best friends, he actually married a Muslim woman and he actually converted to Islam mm -hmm. and then he married her. So he knew that in her culture, in her mind, he would have to do that. But he was already kind of researching and he's a big fan of people like Malcolm X. Mm. And he just really wanted to do it. And he went ahead and do it and he married her. And it was right on Ramadan as well. Yeah. And that's a beautiful story. Hopefully, I'm going to try and get him on to talk about that as well. So he can come on and talk about it, how he you know, even got involved with Islam, how he learned about it, what he learned about it, because he was telling me like, you know, her father is a scholar in Islam. He knows so much information and we can mm -hmm. go to him if we ever have any questions or anything like that. Yeah. So it's just an interesting perspective. What do you think about that, Kelly? Because I know you have so many, so many beautiful Muslim uh, friends and family. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm sure that basically, you know, we have to keep in mind that Islam is the religion and, you know, the culture can be a little different, you know, maybe depending on exactly where you grew up or, you know, the kind of people you're around. So, you know, I think sometimes certain things like this where exactly how the dating works and the marriage works and engagement, you know, could I'm sure vary from place to place, family to family. But for my friends, it was essentially... Yeah, if the man is not Muslim, I don't think that the marriage would not be accepted. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm sure there's openness to the person, you know, being willing to convert and everything. But yeah, that's kind of like a, a family rule that that would have to be the case, you know. 
And I definitely do see what he is saying as well, that it's like, you know, to me, it's like uh, religion and these kind of things. These are really principles of, of the, your life. You know what I mean? And, and in partners, at least I think it should be anyhow, that these are things that you really do have to be in, in terms with and, and agreeing with because it's important. And it's also, you know, says a lot with how your children are going to be raised you know what i mean so you have to have some agreements even if you are going to think a little bit differently or whatever you have to have the agreement on how how that will work what it will look like in your family to your children what they will be taught etc so you know absolutely and that's one of the things Helly, that why i love you so much too because we have the same principles that's right. Both of us together have the exact same principles and you have to have the same fundamental principles if you're going to marry someone and start a family. Now, Kelly and I, we think the same. We want the same thing for our for our children and our family line and our lineage. Mm-hmm. Now, if I think I want something and then Kelly has the complete opposite where maybe she's okay with certain things that are happening in schools right now and I'm not. And she Mm -hmm. said, oh, I'm all about it. And she wants our kids to do this and do that and wear certain things. We know how that goes, you know, and I don't (laughs) want that kind of thing for my kid. Mm -hmm. So it just really depends. You have certain things are very tricky and you have to really be a strict parent, but show a lot of love. And Kelly and I have been talking about that as well because people need that. These kids, they need that that strictness they need that schedule that structure that discipline in their life and i think it's really good for them so and that's where one of those things where islam can help as well christianity and different religions can help with that too but it's just you know you have to actually be about it there's a lot of christians that aren't about it and i i've rarely seen muslims that are not about what it says in the quran you know like of course everyone is is going to sin but, you know, for the most part, they're going to be doing what they what they should be doing, what they say they're going to taking be doing. Taking Ramadan seriously. No, taking Ramadan yeah, seriously. They're not right. eating pork. Absolutely. They're not, you know, drinking. Maybe they, you know, they, you know, maybe they sin here and there. Maybe they have a drink here one, one time or something, you know, do something that's haram. But it's not something that's a common thing that they're just going to keep doing and continue doing. So right. that's from my experience and what I what I've seen. So but thank you guys for watching the video. We're learning so much interesting information. We have a lot more to come. We have some exciting information and news Very for you guys. Exciting. Thank you guys for being here. We love you guys so much. And thank you for donating to the channel. We see every thank single you. donation, thank guys. You. I'm telling you, it warms our hearts so much. Even one cent, one dollar, a hundred dollars, it doesn't matter. Because you just liking the video and subscribing and being here is enough. But we have to thank the people that are donating because it's like, This is what shows us we're trying to change the world with this channel and really spread the word and let people know that Islam is not this big, scary religion. It's something that everyone can be a part of and and enjoy. So thank you guys for being here and we'll see you in the the next next video. video.